Hey students, Mrs. Van Sickle here with a tip on how you can really leave your last sentence of your concluding paragraph with something impactful that impresses your readers and also incorporates topic and theme. Maybe you'll even give your readers something to think about as they conclude your essay. So earlier this year, we discussed topic and theme, and we have threaded that through various pieces of literature. And we're not going to dismiss it on these two particular pieces of literature. So again, to chunk out this information, you're actually gonna scroll all the way down to the last sentence of the last paragraph in your graphic organizer. In this case, it's section 19. So you can select your own concluding state, concluding transition, but let's go to topic here. Now in these two particular memoirs, there is a common topic. There is a common theme. So we first want to we first want to start with a one word universal topic. And of course, there can be more than one. That is, again, the beauty of literature. Everything's open to interpretation. So I'm going to give you 20 seconds to take a look at the various one word topics and pick two that you think float to the top that relate to both pieces of writing. You got a couple in mind? If you only have one, that's good enough. So as I think back to both Lawrence Yep's memoir of him as a child trying to fit in with his family dynamics and James Howe in Everything Will Be Okay and how he struggles to fit in with his family dynamics, they both struggle for different reasons. I think they're both struggling with acceptance of their, of their families of them. I think they're also courageous not to succumb to what their families are. They're very brave for marching forward and being their own individuals. I certainly think family could work because their family dynamics that are the main source of conflict. You could also focus on love and tolerance. Those are just some possible topics. You may have another topic that would work just as well. And I'm not saying there is a right or wrong answer. I'm just going to choose courage, or family. I think those are two very likable and doable topics. So now, based upon the chosen topic, Craft a theme statement. In other words, what is the overall lesson tied to both texts? This is gonna be the tricky part. What's the common denominator? What is the lesson that you can tease out of both of those texts related to courage and or family? Remember, we want to avoid first person pronouns and second person pronouns. So no I, me, we, us, no you. So let us focus on third person.
people should value their own beliefs and be courageous to stand up to their family even when those family values differ. Now you can't use this one. Actually you can because this is just a practice summit or a practice formative. But if you stop what you're doing in your first or your second, third, fourth, fifth paragraph and jump down today to identify the topic and the theme, I think you'll have a better understanding and guidance for the rest of the chunked out information in your graphic organizer. Again, students, don't stay stuck.